What's going on guys, Connor here, and I want to talk about VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price. Um, so some of you may know this is a key indicator that I use for trading stocks um, that I always have on my chart. Right now my chart is pretty much completely blank, I have no moving averages, I do not have the Volume Weighted Average Price right now on this chart. I'm currently looking at DCTH, um, this is a former runner within about the past week or so. So I want to go over the VWAP for you guys. Um, so for any of you guys that are using Thinkorswim trading platform, this will be really beneficial. I'm going to go over how you can set up your VWAP. Um, so the A could look like mine, but basically in general, so you can have the volume weighted average price indicator now on your screen. I'm going to go over how the VWAP acts as intraday support and resistance um, and how you can kind of recognize a VWAP pullback or a VWAP breakout to kind of give you a sense of how you can start learning how to trade the VWAP. And if you were to ask me, um, or if I could only have one indicator on my screen for trading and no other indicator, I would personally use the VWAP. Um, if there was only one indicator I could have on my screen at a time, I would personally choose to use the VWAP or the volume weighted average price. <clears throat> With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up. So this is your typical TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. Uh, the easiest way I find to do is just go over here to Studies, click Edit Studies, come into your search tool, click View or type in VWAP, double click it, then you can come over here, uh, or if you want, you just basically hit Apply, and you'll be presented with not one, but you'll be presented with three different trend lines. The middle one is the volume weighted average price, and then you have your upper and lower band of the VWAP. Personally, and a lot of other traders do not even use the upper and lower band, so I'll show you how to take those off so you can just simply use the middle, uh, middle band, which is the volume weighted average price. So if you want to edit them and take them out, you'll just go back into Edit Studies, double click your VWAP, Come down here to upper band, unclick it, go over to lower band, unclick it, hit OK, and hit apply. Now, when you open it up, it'll say, you know, deviation, you know, negative two, two. That is the standard typical deviation you're going to want to have in your chart, so there's really no need to change it. You can if you would like, um, but I, there is really no purpose of doing it, especially if you're day trading, it's set up perfect for you. Apply and hit OK. Now you're just going to be presented with the one bar volume weight at average price. Now personally, I'm going to go in here and change the color of it, and I'll show you how you can do that. I would like to have mine in white. So let's double click it, come down here to color, and you can change it to white. If you would like, you can go in here and change the style, and you can make it you know, dotted lines or dashed lines, however you would like to do it. I'm going to leave mine a solid white line right now for the video, and I'm going to show you what the volume weighted average price is. Okay, so what is the VWAP? The VWAP is basically, um, basically what it stands for is volume weighted average price. It takes the amount of shares purchased at a given price and then it's able to project or graph this white line you see. And generally what this white line means is that is where the average price per share is held on the stock for most investors. So this is the average price bought. This is where volume is going to pick up a little bit because this is where most people hold the stock in this price point right here. And that's how you project the line. Um, in the beginning of the day, the line is always going to move much quicker than it will into the trading day. Because once shares have been bought and once trading has taken place and shares have been traded, the line is going to become much more still and it's not going to move as quick because now it's moving into the trading day and now it's already calculated its average price for the day for the most part. As you can see here when it dipped down, yeah the line moved a little bit but not much because there's been so many shares bought here and there's been so many shares sold here that it's kind of even I guess you could say and now it's just become you know a pretty standard still line. So I want to show you right here what it means to trade the VWAP, okay? Or let's first go into support and resistance. Intraday for day trading, the volume weighted average price is a awesome indicator because it works as a support and resistance. So you can see here, once we had that break up and we had this nice run, 
we pulled back down to the VWAP and tested the volume weighted average price to see if the stock was going to hold there as support and sure enough it did. It sold a little bit below it but surely it came back up and bounced right back off of it. Sold down below it came back up. Then Now this is on a five minute, uh, five minute chart so it's not one minute but we sold down below it came back up then we started bouncing around on it and sure enough once we got a solid breakthrough of the VWAP it completely sold off. It no longer was holding its support, so it just sold off, right? So on this chart, um, let's see if I can get a better chart pulled up for you guys. Um, yeah, this will work. 10 day, one minute. Now I'm gonna go over to the day I want to talk about, which is this chart right here. This is the day I want to talk about. So now that we're in a one minute chart, okay, DCTH, I made a video on it previously. So we had this sell off initially in the beginning, and then we had our first volume weighted price breakout, the first VWAP breakout, along with some other indicators that are on my screen. We had some moving averages crossover, and then you got this nice rip up, okay? Then it sold off below the VWAP, came back up, broke it. Then we started fumbling around on it, and this is where you could have got in for volume weighted average price pullback. We started to make higher lows, so we're still on an uptrend, right? So the volume weighted average price is used as support and resistance for intraday play. So here would have been a key entry point for a VWAP pullback, because as we noticed right here, we came down, tested it, we broke through, so it wasn't holding strong support. We sold, or bought back up, then we sold back down, and we bounced right off of it, and we started to make a nice uptrend. Now you could have bought in on the breakout of this price point right here, which is what I personally would have done. But if you can see, intraday, the VWAP is holding as a support, right? It comes up, it did sell through, but we hold support here, we hold support here, we hold support here, and then eventually, right here is where we got the first VWAP breakdown and now once you sell below it it now acts as a resistance as you can see we sold below it we come back up and now you're hitting a support or sorry you're hitting resistance and you sell back down you know if you keep going into the next trading day you'll notice that we started above it then we sold through came back up just broke it sold back down came back up resistance resistance and now it just sells way below the VWAP all day long. So technically intraday, I was on a downtrend. Then look at here, another great example. We first start off below the VWAP, we get a nice breakout. You could have bought in on the breakout here once it was fumbling around showing that it had good support. You could have played this move and went up about 8%. Then you come across and you notice it starts holding a very strong support on the VWAP. We go up we bounce, bounce all day long. So this is telling you that the stock is holding that volume weighted average price for the day. Then we come into the next day, we sell off, we sure enough we get a volume weighted average price breakout, strong breakout and you get a move up 20, about 25 percent there depending on when you got it. If you got in right away you'd have a 25 cent move up or 25 percent. Then we come across, and now we're just kind of bouncing around in between the VWAP. So nothing too strong there, but as you can see from the previous day, it was holding support right on that line. And this day, we're just kind of playing around the volume weighted average price. Continue. Now here's, here's a good example of when it's holding resistance, right? We sell down greatly, and then we buy back up. So this would be your target point. So for example, if you were to buy in off this reversal right here, my target point if I were to buy on this reversal point, my first target would be the VWAP. That is a great target point. Since the VWAP intraday holds as a very strong support and resistance, you play this reversal and you're wondering when you should exit the trade, your first target really should be the volume weighted average price. And sure enough, it moves up there, breaks it, but then it comes back down. You play this reversal or this bounce, whatever you want to call it, you could trade for the target up to the VWAP. You can see what happens. You trade up. You hit the volume weight average price and then it kind of just trickles sideways. 
Sure enough here, you're trading just below the VWAP. So this would be a good time to play for a VWAP breakout because it's kind of been fumbling around right below it. Sure enough, we get the break and then you shoot up and you know that was a 6% move there. Now we go into this trading day and it's just trading. This is intraday right now. It's just trading right below the VWAP, so you can you know you could essentially play for a VWAP breakout here. So that's really the support and resistance behind the volume weighted average price. Let's see if I can pull up um, any other good stocks to show you guys. Let's how about WKHS? <clears throat> Let me remove my drawings. So this one isn't doing um, a heck of a lot right now. Um, but let's see if you look into yesterday's trading, right? So you start off going above the VWAP. Now what I would have looked for is like a VWAP pullback. So maybe off this first move up, you could have gotten a pullback. And a pullback would be when the price goes up, it gets a little extended. You sell off and you should look for a pullback or an entry point right as it touches the volume weighted average price to get back in. And you could have done it right here, but it wasn't a strong move. Um, I personally probably wouldn't have done that because the volume isn't really high. Um, but right here, it trades just below the VWAP for quite some time. We get a break above it, and then sure enough, we shoot up. That right there was a 6% move. I mean, not huge, but you know, those are just VWAP breakouts. And what I want you guys to understand is a lot of traders use the volume weighted average price for VWAP pullbacks and volume weighted price breakouts, and they use it as support and resistance intraday. So if you think about it, and there's all these other traders watching it, that's that psychological aspect to the whole trading game. You got all these people, you know, including myself, looking for VWAP breakouts, VWAP pullbacks, support and resistance off the VWAP. So if all these traders are watching this and you start to implement this into your style, you're going to start trading the same trends and same patterns as other traders. Okay, when people start noticing the VWAP breakout, they'll load up on shares and they'll enter in for a nice move up. Or if they're noticing that the VWAP's been holding support, all day long and now we're getting a break through the VWAP it's probably a good time to exit because you're probably looking at a good sell-off coming in or you're looking at shorts coming in to trade the VWAP breakdown so that's you know that's majority of what the VWAP is okay um, you know there's really not much more to it I mean it could get a little bit more complex if you basically keep it simple that's what you're looking at uh, maybe I can get in on something another another stock here um, Let's see, PLUG. Okay, great example right here. This is a perfect example. Okay, so previous day on Friday, this would be Friday, the stock sells off, touches the VWAP, comes back up. So that would be like a VWAP pullback or a VWAP bounce. It breaks down to the VWAP and then we get a move up. And then we just start trending right on the VWAP all day long. So this is showing that the price is holding great support right off the volume weighted average price. Okay, and another thing to watch out for is when a price gets really extended from the white line or off the volume weighted average price, the VWAP, when a price gets really extended off there, be careful on buying in at those times because it's so far extended off the volume weighted average price that it should come back down to earth at some point and get closer to the average price per share on that stock. Like today, this thing traded up and then we had a breakdown and sure enough, the stock could not have, so you could have tried to buy in right here, but you would have been stopped out real quick once it broke down. But you see what happens? Once it, you know, you once it goes up, hits the VWAP, breaks below it, look what happened. It just completely sold off, okay? So now the only good time for me, like if I wanted to go long for this, is to see if this thing's going to rise back up and break through the VWAP again and then continue running. So there's a basic, simple understanding of the VWAP for you guys. I really hope that helps. Um, you know, I'll do more videos on it here and there um, for people as long as they, they want me to and there's, you know, still people need some clarification on it. But that's your basic, simple understanding of the VWAP for support, resistance, pullbacks, breakdowns um, and how a lot of traders use it intraday for day trading stocks okay so as always 
please join the Tech Bud Solutions group on Facebook, especially for beginners. It's a great place to be. Um, you can always, you know, send me your friend requests. I have a link to my Facebook page. I'm always sending out posts of potential stocks and things to look for in the stock market as we go. So that can always be helpful for you too. Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys like the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to keep getting notified of the videos I do make, especially for beginners. I think that this information is going to be super useful for you as you start learning and hopefully I can help shorten that learning curve for you guys. Until then, thanks.